Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Fortnite I wanted to talk about my favorite XP AFK creative map. What this map is what I essentially use for is just AFKing after I've played some Fortnite to get my daily cap of creative map XP. If you don't know, I believe you can get 5 total levels on your battle pass a day from creative maps, so 420,000 XP every day, and this is just the map that I think is the best for it, for AFK and chill, and I wanted to take you around to show you the map. Now, the map's name is Room Simulator, and if you play it on Publix, it's probably just gonna be a place where a bunch of people are yelling and just hanging out casually, but if you play it in private, it's just kind of its own small, cozy room area, right? You have rooms, you can uh, matchmake in lobbies, you can check things out, interact with random items and whatnot to get a little bit of XP, but the major places you'll get XP are the trails right here, the tags right here, as well as checking your playtime over here. For example, I think you AFK for around an hour a day and you can get enough XP, right? 12,000 right there, just hold this and this will be the action for a little bit. Now I'm essentially farming the XP from the time I was AFK, right? In chunks of 12,000, I think it starts to slowly lower. Yeah, once you collect a good chunk of XP and gain all of that, but the general idea is you jump between after you AFK for a while because again it time gates you, time limits you to how much XP you can get. You jump between checking your time here, applying your tags over there, or in trails over there, and tags over there. Sorry, getting them mixed up there. But that's the essential TLDR of the room. I want to see how much XP I can get. I think I've been AFK for about 45 minutes or so i was just using my emotes you know oh and then i got a large play time check your play time you're still accruing a good large amount of xp because i was afk for a while right like that's kind of the secret is you do have to be away from keyboard for a little bit to actually accumulate that xp and now you can see it's paused right i'm no longer getting any xp from here because I've tapped it out for now. I think that's kind of how the creative maps work. You can go around, check every room, and hang out in every room if you so choose, but this is essentially what you do. I think you have to either hold E, and then for the check your time, you just kind of have to mash E. And then you just go against these walls and hold XP and just collect your daily XP. You're gonna know when you've capped out on your daily creative Fortnite XP, because you'll start to get like one or two or pretty much zero amounts of XP. So that'll be five levels in total. You can either manually check that, but eventually you'll just start getting absolutely worthless amounts of XP. And that's how you know you've kind of capped out for the day. Again though, this is just like the AFK map I use while I'm in between making videos or doing ranked or unranked uh, zero builds. So. I just throw this on in the background, and then after like a little bit, maybe 45 minutes to an hour so I can, can collect a good chunk of XP, I remember to come back, I remember to spam and hold E against the trails and tags wall, and then look at that, I got another 6,700, I think that's like two, maybe three full levels almost. I can check my playtime again, see if it's accrued any, yeah, but it's like not any more accrued yet. But since I haven't taken much from the tag wall, I think I can get a good chunk from here. But I think essentially the trails and the check XP wall is the main source of XP, yeah. So I think I've only been AFK for like maybe 45 minutes, maybe it hasn't been a full hour, but I don't know if you have to fully check in every 30 minutes to grab some big chunks of XP, or if you're good to just AFK for longer amounts of time, but if you ever do have to just AFK and you do want to collect some XP, this is probably the map I would choose for it, just based on what you saw, how much XP I've already gotten, all of that jazz. And yeah, you can always use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker if you want to support the channel, but I just wanted to shout out this one map since it's the one I tend to use and I know a lot of other people like it. Or if you don't know about it, hey, now you do. I don't know, I just had a lot of people chat about it when I'm on stream, streaming Fortnite and other games here and there. And you can always go to the other rooms, like check out other maps from the creator, right? Read books, 
you can get XP like from other small areas, but it's just most of your XP is going to be acquired from that other section there. You see like medium and small and large play times will accrue while you're playing. You can teleport, change your outfit if you want to, be like, yeah, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna be perfect cell now, right? And then you jump out. Okay, no, no, it didn't, it didn't work. Maybe everything I did wrong. No, I gotta save. Okay, maybe it's just not working. Okay, I'm cursed. We found a bug, boy. We found a bug life. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like a cutesy little area where you can run around, take a look at things, right? Matchmaking's right there, like I said earlier. We have the bathroom here, and then there's like the dance studio here. There's also a private room you can go into to like watch stuff and just run around. But hey, that's essentially Room Simulator, a good casual AFK map to just collect some XP and wind down when you're not playing the game. So let me know what you uh, think of it. You can collect and grab like a bunch of other loot here. Just not really worth mashing a bunch of XP here. IMO, happy holidays, yee. But yeah, I essentially just use the tag section, the trail section, and checking my uh, playtime over here. So as you can see, I have like 532 I don't know, minutes? Yeah, minutes casually just AFKing here and there for some XP. Might not be perfect or anything, but I don't mind it as like a nice non-committal type of AFK map. I just put it on private and then run around here and there, swing by, remember to check my XP tags and trails, and then I'm usually good to go. So let me know what you think. Sub, like, favorite, check out any of the socials, Epic Games Creator Code, Pupsker, if you want to support the channel, whether I be playing Fortnite or any other games. Either way, thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.